Oi, oi, oi. What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Brian and you're watching Living and Chilling. This is the car that I used to commute around the city. So right now it's making this weird noise. I'm going to show you right now. That can't be good, so I have a feeling that is the alternator. So I'm at a rallies right now. We're gonna change the alternator in this car. It's gonna be done in the parking lot. But today you're gonna be watching how I change the alternator on the Mercedes Benz 2006 C 230. Let's start oh. this thing. I want to show you what I did. Uh, this is the old alternator. This right here is the new alternator. And I'm going to install it. Just want to show you what you have to do because I was having problems taking the alternator out because I couldn't find any videos. So remember, you're going to have to disconnect the battery. And then you're gonna have to unscrew this right here, this thing. Once you do that, you're gonna have to take out the water hose or the cooling hose. This one right here, you're gonna have to take it out. After you take out the hose, take out the fan. Uh, you're gonna pull it, you're gonna pull it up be careful because you don't want to heat the condenser and after that right here is a 17 millimeter that's for the belt tensioner then you're gonna take out the belt and then you're gonna unscrew the alternator you're gonna find you're gonna find two screws on the top and then two screws on the bottom. The bottom ones you have to go under the car and you don't have to jack jack up the car but you're gonna have to screw the ones on the bottom you're gonna have to go under the car and screw them. Alright so this is a short video. I just want to make sure that I there's a video about this on YouTube. Now I know why they haven't they haven't changed the alternator. It's kind of it's fucking complicated. <laughs> So, I'm gonna put it back together, put some coolant, and I'll show you if that was the problem. Now, if you're gonna do this, it's really good if you change the alternator, change the belt also. It's gotta be ready. I mean, if the belt goes bad, you screw it. So, hope you like the video. Subscribe, guys. Woo! Woo! I didn't finish because the upper coolant hose it was old so I mean since I'm taking that part out I'm gonna change it and so I can finish tonight I'm gonna change it tomorrow hopefully they will have it in O'Reilly's I'm gonna show you around we were, we were getting ready to go to bed and we're gonna eat some other chan right now you can see that we're gonna eat some other chan <laughs> I went to O'Reilly's and got the new hose and this is gonna be like this this one goes to the block and then this one goes to the um, radiator and then this little hose go over here the new alternator is over there and the new belt so right now I'm just gonna feel a uh, a little coolant reservoir and I'm gonna go try to start it it got complicated but the new alternator is over there so you can see it's not making any noise anymore and at the end I had to change the starter rela relay this one and the fuse because uh, for some reason it got burned and this is the starter one I change it. I'll show it to you right now. 
So this is the starter one, and as you can see, it's kind of burned. Um, it wasn't starting, so I changed this one, and I changed the fuse this, this for the ignition. So now it works, and let me show you right now, it's super quiet. No weird noises anymore. Alternator is working fine. From a scale from uh, one to ten, this thing is difficult. Eight. Honestly, it's a pain in the ass to take to take the 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 alternator out. Now, I spent that one in O'Reilly's is two hundred and eighty dollars plus forty eight dollars of the belt, nineteen dollars for the coolant, eighty dollars of the water hose, the upper water hose, radiator hose, thirty two dollars of the relay. Plus one dollar of the 20 amp little fuse. You do the math. I'm gonna put the total in there. But if you're thinking on doing something like this, now you kind of know how much you're gonna be looking looking at. So right now everything's good. I'm I'm still testing it just to make sure that I bleed the the system properly, which I did. I put everything the right way, and I turn on the heater before turning on the car just to make sure that all the bubbles from the system comes out. So this is not how to do the alternator, but it's uh, how I do it. Hope you liked the video guys. Subscribe if you haven't subscribed. And um, I'll try to make sure to give you another cool video for next time. Have a great night. We'll see you next time.